Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what levetiracetam is, the history of levetiracetam, how levetiracetam works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. Levetiracetam is a unique anticonvulsant that is used in combination with other anticonvulsants to treat partial onset seizures in adults, children, and infants ages one month or older. Levetiracetam can also be used in combination with other anticonvulsants to treat adults with epilepsy as well as children over 12 with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Levetiracetam can be used in combination with other anticonvulsants to treat tonic-clonic seizures in adults and children 6 years of age or older. Levetiracetam is also known as Keppra and Keppra Extended Release. Levetiracetam was discovered in 1992 through screening an autogenic seizure susceptible mice. Alma Gower, who was employed at UCB, observed routine screening of these mice. Levetiracetam has been on the market since 2000. Levetiracetam binds with SV2A in the brain. Levetiracetam inhibits burst firing without affecting normal neuronal excitability resulting in stabilizing electrical activity in the brain. According to Mayo Clinic, common side effects are aggressive, angry behavior or overreact emotionally, anxiety, change in personality or mood changes, chills, cough, crying, deep or fast breathing with dizziness, delusions, diarrhea, dry mouth or sore throat, false, unusual sense of well-being, feeling of unreality, fever, discomfort or illness, headache, hoarseness, irregular heartbeat, irritability, joint pain or muscle pain, loss of appetite, lower back or side pain, depression, nausea and or vomiting, numbness, painful or difficult urination, restlessness, detachment of self or body, shaking, shivering, sleeplessness or trouble sleeping, stuffy and or runny nose, and unusual weakness or tiredness. Less common side effects are bloody nose, burning, crawling, itching, numbness, prickling or tingling feeling, clumsiness, unsteadiness, shakiness, discouragement, dizziness, lightheadedness, double vision, earache, feeling of constant movement of self or surroundings, sensation of spinning, depression, loss of bladder control, loss of memory, cognitive impairment, difficulty concentrating, mood changes or outbursts of anger, tightness in chest, and trembling. What side effects have you experienced while taking Keppra? Leave a comment in the section below. Tell your doctor if you have any of the following conditions before taking levetiracetam. History of depression, hypertension. History of mental illness can make conditions worse. Kidney disease, moderate to severe. Use is not recommended in patients with this condition. Kidney problems, use with caution. Effects may be increased due to the slower removal of medication from body. In rare cases, levetiracetam has been linked to elevation of serum aminotransferase and alkaline phosphatase during treatment. There are also rare cases of drug-induced liver disease due to treatment with levetiracetam. In conclusion, levetiracetam 
is an anticonvulsant that can be used in combination to treat partial onset seizures, seizures in children with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, and tonic-clonic seizures. Levetiracetam binds with SV2A in the brain. Levetiracetam inhibits burst firing without affecting normal neuronal excitability, resulting in stabilizing electrical activity in the brain. There are many side effects when taking levetiracetam. Talk to your doctor about any side effects you have or any risk of taking levetiracetam. Never change your medication or treatment plan without consulting with your physician first. To learn more about levetiracetam, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.